If a child has severe mental health issues, the child's parent or guardian may seek to have the child committed to a hospital for treatment. Parham v. J.R. examined what process is due to children whose parents or guardians voluntarily commit them to state mental health facilities. In the 1970s, a Georgia statute provided that children under 18 could be voluntarily committed to state mental health hospitals upon application by their parents or guardians. The statute allowed hospital superintendents to observe and diagnose the children. A superintendent could admit a child if the superintendent found that the child had a mental or emotional illness and could benefit from treatment. J.R. was a child who'd been in seven foster homes by age seven. After J.R.'s seventh foster family requested his removal due to severe behavioral issues, Georgia's State Child Services Agency sought to commit J.R. to a state mental health hospital. The agency provided J.R.'s full medical and behavioral history, and the hospital's team interviewed J.R. before admitting him. Hospital staff continued to examine J.R.'s progress after his admission. In 1975, J.R. brought a federal class action lawsuit against the hospital's chief medical officer and Georgia state officials, including James Parham. J.R. asserted that Georgia's voluntary commitment procedures for minors violated the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment. After hearing evidence about the admission and patient review practices at Georgia's state mental health facilities, a three-judge panel of the district court found Georgia's statutory procedures unconstitutional. The court reasoned that commitment seriously deprives a child's liberty interest, and protecting that interest requires notice and an adversary-type hearing. Parham and the other officials appealed directly to the United States Supreme Court.